You might find these statements familiar, be it from news headlines, social media debates, or even conversations amongst friends and family. Today, we are on a detective mission, armed with the powerful lens of critical thinking and ready to uncover the hidden traps and arguments that often go unnoticed. Each of these statements contains a logical fallacy, a stealthy culprit that weakens an argument, often disguising itself quite convincingly as a sound reasoning. And by the end of today's session, you'll be equipped to spot these fallacies, unmask them, and strengthen your stance in any argument, be it in your writings or daily conversations. So as budding detectives in the world of logical reasoning, our tool of the day is critical thinking. So put on your detective hats as we go into the world of logical fallacies, learning to navigate the labyrinth of arguments with a discerning eye. First up, the straw man fallacy. This occurs when someone misrepresents an argument to make it easier to attack. It's like building a man out of straw, a weaker version of the original man, to easily knock it down. For instance, if I say, I think we should have stricter gun control, a straw man response might be, oh, so you want to leave everyone defenseless and take away all our guns? Well, that's exaggerating the initial stance, creating a straw man that's easier to attack. Next, let's talk about the hasty generalization fallacy. This occurs when we make a broad conclusion based on a very small or unrepresentative sample size. It's akin to eating a single slice of pie and declaring the entire pie doesn't taste good. It doesn't give justice to the whole situation, does it? To avoid this fallacy, it is crucial to base our arguments on substantial and representative evidence. Now, let's navigate the slippery slope fallacy. This fallacy occurs when we assume that taking a first step will inevitably lead to a series of undesirable events. Imagine saying, if I skip my morning jog today, I'll end up never exercising again, leading to a myriad of health problems. It creates a dramatic domino effect scenario without providing concrete evidence that such a series of events will occur. While it's important to consider the consequences of our actions, it's equally important not to fall into the trap of exaggerated outcomes without substantiated evidence. Next, a red herring is a fallacy that introduces irrelevant information into an argument to divert attention away from the issue at hand. Imagine we are discussing the effects of climate change and someone suddenly brings up economic growth in the past decade, trying to sidetrack the argument. While economic growth is essential, it is a red herring in this context because it distracts from the discussion on climate change. Ad hominem is another logical fallacy where one attacks the person making the argument rather than the argument itself. For instance, disregarding someone's stance on a health issue just because they aren't a doctor is an ad hominem fallacy. The focus shifts the argument to personal attacks. And it's important to assess an argument on its merits and not the person presenting it. Next up, the appeal to authority fallacy. This fallacy occurs when someone argues that something must be true because an authority or expert on the issue says it's true without any other supporting evidence. While quoting experts can strengthen an argument, it should not be the sole basis of an argument. Always seek a robust array of evidence and not just one expert's opinion. Moving on to the false dichotomy fallacy. This is when an argument presents two options and insists that one of them must be correct, ignoring any other possible alternatives. It simplifies the argument to an either or situation when in reality, there could be a spectrum of valid solutions or responses. Remember, the world is full of nuances and very few arguments are black and white. And finally, we have the bandwagon fallacy, sometimes known as the appeal to popularity. It argues that something is right or good simply because many people believe or do it. For instance, everyone is downloading this app, so it must be great. It's essential to assess the quality and value of something rather than blindly following the crowd. Remember, the ability to avoid these fallacies and spot them in others' work is a cornerstone of strong, persuasive writing. So as we step out today, let's pledge to be more critical and conscious writers 
avoiding these pitfalls in our argumentation journey. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button and subscribe. It's free. And that way you can keep up with new learning with Dr. K content. And I'd also love to hear about your experiences with any of these logical fallacies in the comments. It might help others understand what they are and how to avoid them. So here's to stronger, more persuasive writing.